Canine distemper is one of the most serious diseases that can affect your dog. Although frightening, it is highly preventable. We'll discuss the facts every dog owner should know about distemper, its symptoms, treatment options, and prevention methods. It is a highly contagious viral disease that affects domestic dogs and other animals such as ferrets, skunks, and raccoons. It is a multi-systemic disease, meaning it affects multiple organ systems, including the respiratory, gastrointestinal, and central nervous systems. Distemper is caused by the canine distemper virus, CDV, and is often fatal, with no specific cure. Dogs can contract distemper in three ways. Direct contact with an infected animal or object, airborne exposure, or through the placenta. The virus spreads through aerosol droplets when an infected dog or wild animal coughs, sneezes, or barks, contaminating nearby animals and surfaces. Infected dogs can shed the virus for months, putting other dogs at risk. Symptoms of distemper in dogs vary depending on the stage of the disease. In the first stage, common signs include fever, nasal discharge, purulent eye discharge, lethargy, loss of appetite, coughing, vomiting, and diarrhea. If a dog survives the acute phase, they may develop hyperkeratosis lesions on their paw pads and nose known as hard pad disease. In the second stage, as the disease progresses to the central nervous system, neurological symptoms may appear. These include head tilt, circling, partial or complete paralysis, seizures, muscle twitching, and increased salivation with chewing movements. At this stage, distemper is usually fatal, and surviving dogs often have permanent, irreversible nerve damage. All dogs are at risk but puppies under 4 months old and unvaccinated dogs have a higher risk of contracting the disease. Diagnosis is based on the presence of multisystemic signs and can be confirmed through various tests. Unfortunately there is no specific treatment for canine distemper. Therapy typically consists of supportive care and efforts to prevent secondary infections, control vomiting, diarrhea and neurological symptoms, and combat dehydration through fluid administration. Infected dogs should be isolated from other dogs to minimize the risk of further infection. Prevention through vaccination is crucial. Puppies are vaccinated to increase their chances of developing immunity when their immune systems are not yet fully mature. It's essential to avoid gaps in the immunization schedule and keep distemper vaccines up to date throughout a dog's life. Other preventive measures include avoiding contact with infected animals and wildlife and being cautious when socializing puppies or unvaccinated dogs in parks, puppy classes, kennels and other places where dogs gather. While distemper is seen worldwide, its incidence has greatly decreased since the 1970s due to the widespread use of effective vaccines. However, it remains prevalent in populations with low vaccination rates.